Automatons are one of the most overpowered features in Echoes of Wisdom. And this can range from a samurai moblin all the way to a automated cannonball destroying Octorok that can nuke almost any enemy in front of it. Let me show you how to navigate through all the confusion in order to get every single one to destroy every single enemy in the game. So let's quickly talk about the prerequisites and that's going to be completing the Zora Rift slash dungeon area, the Gerudo Desert specific dungeon, and the rifts involving that and the midpoint of the game after you complete the events that take place at Hyrule Castle. Now after Hyrule Castle, you'll have your first interaction or cutscene with Dompe just north of the Hyrule Ranch. You'll then see a cutscene with Dompe walking about and a crow interacting with him. All you have to do is approach Dompe, take out that crow, which will then initiate the specific quest, Automaton Engineer Dompe. From there, you'll then head over to his place and his house will be located all the way northeast of Hyrule Castle in this location right to the left of Zora River. Once you arrive in there, he then gives you a twisted pumpkin for helping him earlier. Now, Dompe is the person who makes these automatons, but it's not going to come that easy and it comes with riddles. Now, when you talk to him or go over and look at his specific book, it's going to say for the first one, what he's looking for is a creature with the big eye, the sort that's always jumping around. What I showed Dompe was a level two tektite. Now, you can test out if tektite level one works, but if you want to find the tektites, here's exactly the locations for them. If you're looking for tech type level ones, you can find them located right over here, which is northeast of Hyrule Castle in this body of water. They're simply just hopping around and swimming everywhere in this area. They're also in a bunch of other locations, but this is where I got mine. The next location is to get tech type level two, which can be found all the way up in the Hebra Mountain area. This is the exact waypoint that I went to to get to it. So this is the warp point. And from that point, I simply just used my Crawlchilla to just climb up this wall and then made my way right into this cave located here on the map. And as soon as you walk inside of this cave, you'll be greeted by the Tech Tight Level 2 that you can take down and just add to your collection. Now, the second part of Dampe's riddle was something that shoots hot smoke out of its backside to blast forward. And for this one, I then showed my Mothula Echo and I'm going to be honest, exploring the map early in the game contributed to me finishing this up almost all at once because I already had that Mothula and you can find that Mothula during the Gerudo Rift Dungeon. Now, if you're looking for a Mothula level two, they're going to be located right in the Farron wetlands in the bottom right within this specific section here. Once you turn in the Mothula, he'll then give you a Tektite and a Clockwork Key. And if you're curious what the Clockwork Key is, all it is is simply going to allow you to do the turn on the automatons to allow them to move. Basically, that's the button that says wind and it lets you do that. And if for those who are curious, the tech type kind of just gives you an area of effect damage when it jumps up. So that's pretty much what this one does. And followed up by that, you'll then get the notification that the side quest automaton engineer Dampe is complete. And at this point is where you also learn that Dampe takes monster stones to repair these items in case they get damaged as an alternate currency if you don't have enough rupees. Otherwise, you can also use rupees. Now, when you talk to him again, you'll notice that his journal then starts to highlight. You can then go to the journal and select what the next automaton is, starting the side quest called Explosions Galore. The next automaton is the most broken one, which is the Toktorok. I'm telling you, this is the greatest thing in the game. The first thing is Dompe is looking for a creature that spits stones out of its mouth, which is going to be the Octorok, a creature that spits stones out of its mouth which is simply just going to be an Octo Rock Echo. What I used was a regular Octo Rock, but you can find Fire Octo Rocks up in Elden Volcano, and you can find the Ice Octo Rocks further up in Hebra Mountain Caves but the regular Octoroks are everywhere around the Hyrule Field area. Once you have that, the second clue is that he also needs a firework that whooshes into the air. Now, in order to do this, it's actually from a side quest, which is going to take you all the way towards the Elden Volcano area in this specific spot. From here, you're then going to go ahead and head to this location where you will talk to this NPC who wants to put on a firework show. Now, in order to get a firework, this NPC is going to want blast powder soil. So you're going to make your way all the way towards this location, pick up this glowing object, bring it back to him, and eventually you'll get the firework echo that you can use. After you have that, you can then go right back to Dompe and throw the firework in front of him in order to complete the quest where he'll give you the Tokto Rock. 
The next automaton that we'll be going for is the Gizmo that shoots out a bunch of musical instruments that actually attacks enemies. Pretty cool. Now for this side quest in order to get it, Dompe is going to want a Jiggly monster with cute little eyes. Pretty much what I use for this is an Ignizol Echo or you can use a Zol Echo. You pretty much should already have these because you get them in the beginning of the game right in this location at this specific cave to the east of Southern Village. When you walk in there, you'll find regular Zols and you also will find the Ignizol. The second thing that Dompe said is that he needed to make the Automaton musical and he needs a part that makes beautiful tones and then gives you a hint that he's heard a pretty sound that comes from the Hyrule branch. Now, in order to get this next item, you're going to have to actually do a quest all the way in Hyrule Castle with Impa. This quest is called Impa's Gift. And what she wants you to do is head all the way over towards Hyrule Ranch. Once you make your way to Hyrule Ranch, you'll then talk to a lady who's then going to mention about the horse not being there and trouble happening. And then you'll make your way all the way towards this location on the map where a carrot patch is and a complete rift has opened up and if you're wondering like me why these carrots haven't even shown up yet well this is the exact reason and the little quest line that leads to it anyway all you have to do is enter the rift do what you need to do by collecting all of tri's friends and once you clear that rift you'll then be able to summon zelda's horse by having a carrot show up you can also pull the carrots now out the ground using the bind ability and if you talk to the lady she'll tell you about the flag races that happened down at the ranch so what you want to do is get on the horse and make your way all the way down to Hyrule Ranch and if you're wondering exactly what that music box is it's actually inside this building over here you'll see it right there anyway for this you're going to have to do different levels of flag races make sure you're talking to her while you are on the horse if you're not on the horse it will not trigger for this all you have to do is complete a short course going around the ranch and the middle course which takes you along this direction and you just have to do it under these certain time limits there is a long course that comes after the middle course but it's not necessary in order to get the prismatic music box once you get the music box just make your way back to dampe and since you can't throw the music box on the floor just talk to him about it and then he will create for you the gizmo the next automaton is going to be the high teku baba which pretty much just looks like a robotic baba that's really all it is and it just non-stop eats anything that comes close to it for this side quest endless stomach dampe's hints are a creature that swallow things whole with its massive jaws you're going to need the deku baba level 2 which actually swallows things whole this echo can be found in the farin wetlands pretty much almost everywhere in the location i specifically found mine right about here after that he's also going to request a special part that can strengthen its ability by clamping down on things and he mentions that you should go and talk to his friend who picks up acorns basically he's Telling you to go and talk with the acorn guy so what i did was first go towards an acorn guy by hyrule castle and you get the option to ask about the steel clamp and when i did he mentioned that his friend knows about it that's all the way to the west of this area so then eventually i found this acorn guy located in this specific spot i had to complete this acorn mini game to get the steel trap under this amount of seconds that can be seen on screen right now here's exactly what i did so you can follow along if you want After you get the steel trap, Dampe will then craft you a high Teku Baba, bringing that side quest to an end. Now, the next automaton is called the Roboblin, and this is literally a samurai moblin, and it looks so freaking cool. The way it pulls out its katana and slices all the enemies is crazy. This quest for this one is called Chop em in Two. He's said to keep an eye out for monsters with a sword who fights alongside others, and this should be kind of obvious that only 
moblins do this and specifically sword moblins. What I used was a level two sword moblin and these can be found in the Hyrule field area in this location. He also said that he needs an heirloom katana that actually you can get from a dojo in Kakariko village. And if you have been to Kakariko village, when you enter in, you should be able to head all the way towards the left side of the entrance and walk into this building here. And the location for Kakariko village is right here and actually has a warp point as well. Inside the dojo, it is known as the slumber dojo where you can talk to the master here who will present to you a bunch of different challenges. And the interesting part about these challenges is that initially there are only two of them when you start the game, but as you continue to progress and clear each dungeon, different challenges will start to show up. So progression and what shows up in the dojo is based on your progression in the game. So for example, flow of battle is a watery level. You can assume that you have to beat the Zoro dungeon rift in order for this to happen. And the same thing for the Gerudo desert is like the blank slate battle win. So in order to have all of these show up, you just have to have all those prerequisites we said at the start of the video done, which will allow you to do each one of these challenges. And once you complete all these challenges all the way till Moblin's Revenge, you'll then be presented with the heirloom katana. And by the way, if anyone is struggling on any of these challenges, also let me know in the comments and I can follow up with some videos on the challenges. Once you get that heirloom katana, make your way right back to Dompe and then show him that and he will craft you one of the best automatons, the Roboblin. Now the next automaton that we'll be going for is the Gold Finch, which actually has the ability to knock rupees out of enemies that it strikes. And the crazy part about this is unlike other birds in the game that you can hold on to and then they just lose stamina and fall down this automaton can glide indefinitely until it winds down very good to hold it and fly for very long periods of time to get this goldfish the side quest is going to be called get rich quick which only shows up after doing all the other previous automatons and for this dompe just simply wants a crow echo it's everywhere in the early in the game you should already have this by now if you're at this point of the game and also he wants something shiny from you which we're gonna have to head all the way over to the oasis in the gerudo desert located right over here and you'll notice that in this tent you'll see the golden fan object and when you talk to this lady in front of you she's gonna have something known as mango rush now mango rush is a game where you simply just blow up the mangoes that pop up in the plants and there's two mango rushes specifically that you're going to have to do the standard seeds and when you beat that it'll then unlock something known as the vibrant seeds and that variation of the quest is going to just simply have thorns show up that block the echoes you send out to get rid of the mangoes from the plant but if you are successfully able to complete the standard seeds and the vibrant seed missions and there's also one after that but that one's way harder and you don't even need to do that one for this you'll get the reward of the golden fan after you get your golden fan just make your way back to dompe he'll then create for you the gold finch and once you're done with all those automatons he's then going to want to give you a gift known as the clockwork bangles but he'll want just five monster stones from you which you should have a few of them already in your inventory and the benefit of the clockwork bangle is that when you wear it you'll have an easier time winding up the automatons so that way it'll be able to get into battle faster and do its attacks and destroy your enemies completely but you know what else you can do to destroy your enemies you should watch this video over here which will show you something very overpowered 